Hello everyone, I just installed the 2021.4.18.13 update. Uh, it's just a minor release that says basically bug fixes. So we're going to go ahead and do a test route. This time we're just going hiking um, with my dog Onyx to Carl Sandburg again. Saw that video a couple videos ago. And we will go ahead and see if we can make this one a true uh, zero disengagement drive. Okay, first. Okay, <laughs> so first, uh, questions. It's still no speed limits updated. That's nice, again is a GPS mapping issue. Um, it d that does need to be accurate though, because this section of road doesn't have a speed limit sign. If I get onto the road, it needs to know what the speed limit is. It could it could be somehow say it's a 60 mile an hour road when it's really a 35. So it, it does need to be accurate. As you can see, the GPS issue appears to be better. Um, definitely better, I suppose. It locked on a little bit quicker. So we'll, we'll see if, um, if it doesn't take this turn up here a little bit more accurately. Okay, still no blinker. And still too close to the side. I'm gonna again make a camera recording right there. See if they can figure it out from that. And this is doing the same drastic braking. I don't quite understand why it breaks so hard there. I guess it just it can't read the road very well. I believe I have it on navigate on autopilot, so it should. Yep, automatically change lanes. A little bit late, but um, it did it. So we're just going to do a time lapse of the highway. And let's see what's wrong. good it's, that's really good I don't know if that's an improvement from previous because it started slowing down off the high on the highway which is exactly what I want to see before you get off the ramp it should slow down to the speed limit and then start slowing down incrementally this was fantastic slow down is it gonna do it Honestly, it seemed a little bit hesitant going through the intersection there. Um, I don't know why it's stayed at 25 mile an hour. It needs to go back up. There it goes. That, it did the same thing. That's the exact spot. If there was a car there, that would have been an intervention or, or disengagement. That's the same thing that happened on the last drive. It made that little swerve right there. And that same exact spot. So I'm not sure what's going went on to make it do that but obviously I pressed the camera button again to report it, it shouldn't do that that's that's very good I don't know if you noticed the lights change up ahead I don't know how well it shows in the video but um, it saw that immediately and started slowing down as soon as the light changed which is exactly what I want to see uh, that was that is definitely improved at first glance um, from the previous version that it's uh, looking much further ahead for lights. Currently is also staying in the left lane. We'll see if that uh, is consistent because it needs to stay in this lane uh, for where we're going. It, it should not get it in the right lane. Eh, of course it's getting in the right lane. Um, changing lanes to follow a route, which is incorrect. So I'm gonna see if maybe 
pressed that will make them review it. It's not correct. Um, you should not be getting in the right lane to follow for this specific route. That was new. If you saw it pop up on the screen, it stopped, started slowing too soon for the stoplight. Now it's slowing definitely better than previous. It's slowing earlier for stoplights. So obviously we've only had three stoplights so far. All three have slowed more smoothly than the previous version. Now this is going to be a challenge. We have a, two cars next to us. Guaranteed, they're going straight and not turning. And I'm in this turn lane. So this is where our disengagement is probably going to happen. Unless what I'm probably going to do is so I don't get the disengagement is intervene. Interest and it's going very slow. That was odd. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to turn on the blinker. It's, it needs to, it needs to do that. I don't know if it like... It started very slow at an intersection for some reason. I don't know. You can s speculate that it's because it was trying to get behind this car, but I don't think that was the case. Um, but yeah, we'll see if it slows down over these railroad tracks. I don't think and the only reason it's slowing down is because of this car in front. Like maybe could have gone a little bit quicker, but this is very okay. I don't know why it tried to stop there. I, oh, we got some construction. It looks like that's on the left, though. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. It might have been that orange sign is why it tried to stop. Turn the blinker on just a little bit earlier. A good left turn. It could have started up again a little bit earlier from the light, but definitely good left turn. And it's already slowing for the brake lights on this car. If it's using vision, that is definitely improved over the previous update. Um, which is supposed to be using vision only, no radar. Uh, it seems to d detect s movements like that much sooner, and I think it's because of the brake lights. Um, before, it would never would look at brake lights, but now because it looks at the brake lights, the car is going to automatically at least stop accelerating and then start slowing down when it actually notices the car is deaccelerating itself. So that is currently an improvement over 9.0 as well. See how it handles the speed limit change. It definitely saw the sign. Again, should slow a little bit quicker. It's still, like it's still not slow. It really should slow much quicker than that. It doesn't have to like jam on the brakes or anything, but it should be like you know one mile an hour every couple of seconds. <laughs> the car behind me is probably couldn't figure out why I stopped but yeah that was worse that was definitely worse than the last one um but yeah um because of where I want to park this is um going to be where I get off that was not considered a disengagement because this is where I want to go the navigation just wants to route to the different parking lot and I don't want to go there look here we got ourselves another model three in front of us yeah Rapid dash. And a little Pokemon reference, yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm gonna park right here and see if they notice. 500 feet, turn left onto little river no, 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 okay. But excellent, guys. Um, that is gonna be it for this video. That was the first zero disengagement drive I've had in, since 8.2. I could not get a single one on 9.0. So clearly, 9.1 so far is currently better. Uh, now, I would admit that where I merged on that left lane where I had to manually turn the blinker on um, I think it would have disengaged there I think potentially it would have messed up though the truck behind me was giving me quite a bit of room I'm not sure why but it did and maybe it knew I would needed to get over 
And so I was already had to go ahead and just give me room being a nice person. Uh, but otherwise, either way, zero disengagements, and I believe this is only like four or five interventions. Once they fix the speed limit signs, they turn blinkers on, that type of stuff, we're going to be very close to a zero intervention and zero disengagement drive. So I appreciate everyone for watching again, and look forward to you in the next video.